Hi, it's Tom. Uh, in this video, which is the fifth in a series about uh, C++ data types, we're going to look at uh, some of the issues with the uh, imprecision and, and rounding that happens with uh, floating point data types. So we're going to explore this with a, a little bit of an example. Uh, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of double declarations. I'll declare a constant called answer, and I'm going to be making it equal to 0 0.1. All right. Um, so I'll also create a, a variable uh, called real number. And I'll also make it to 0 0.1. But rather than just making it straight up 0 0.1, I'm going to be doing a, a small expression. So let's say um, uh, 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3. OK. Um, so that should be 0 0.1, right? OK. So those two things should be the same. So we'll have a look at whether they actually are the same. So in my processing slash output section, um, I'll do a little if statement to see if they are the same. So I'm saying is real number equal to answer? And then I have an if statement. If real number is equal to answer, which that should be true, it's going to output true. Real number is equal to answer. Otherwise, it'll say false. Real number is not equal to answer. So let's see uh, if this actually works. And it tells me false. 0 0.1 is not equal to 0 0.1. Well, that's obviously not correct. Sorry, it's obviously not correct, so I've, I've made some error somehow. Or have I? So I check through my code, and I, I go over it a bunch of times, and I've figured out that the code really does, in fact, seem to be OK. So I'm going to do a little bit more explanation. I'm going to, going to try this if statement again. Uh, but before I actually do the output, uh, what I'll do is I'll um, show, a few more or show a few more decimal places. So I'll pause the pause the program, press any key to continue, use cn.ignore. In my second attempt, I will uh, make it fixed, and I'll set the precision to, say, 20. So I can see what's going on with more of the decimal places there. I'll repeat the if statement, almost exactly the same. But of course, this set precision 20 is going to, it's not going to be 0 0.1 anymore. So we'll run this again with the fixed set precision 20 in there. There's my first one, which was which was frustrating. And and here's the second one. So now that we see more of the decimal places, it's a little more obvious to, to us now what the problem is. Real number, uh, because I arrived at it using a, a math equation, it did the math equation and got to as close to 0 0.1 as it could. Uh, but it was a little tiny bit inaccurate. So we can see the 3331 at the end. Um, on the other hand, the answer constant, um, which I set to 0 0.1 explicitly, hard-coded it that way, um, it ended up, again, getting as close to it as it could, but there was a tiny bit of inaccuracy as well. That's where the uh, 555 at the end uh, ended up being. So what we can see there is there's a slight difference between these two, which is why the equality test is failing. They're super, super close. And for all intents and purposes, they're the same. But uh, technically, they're not exactly the same. So let's uh, have a look at uh, maybe fixing that. All right, so I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm just going to paste in some new code. <clears throat> I've added a, a pause to the program. Um, and then um, I've created this constant double. I've called it delta for, for difference, if you will. And I've made it equal to a, a small fraction. Basically, the idea here is, is that if the numbers are, if the difference between the numbers is more than this, then they're not the same. If it's less than this, then they're approximately the same. Now, normally, I would actually create this constant up at the top of the source code. That's where it belongs. Uh, I'm declaring it right here just for the purposes of the demo so we can see the things together. All right. Um, so for my third attempt, 
Uh, I'm asking if real number is approximately equal to answer. And then I say if real number minus answer is less than the delta. Okay, actually I need to fix that a little bit. It's not exactly correct. But we'll just look at it as it is, as it is right now. So I subtract answer from real number. What I'm going to get is a difference. If that difference is smaller than this difference, then I'm good to go. Now this is predicated on the idea that answer is in fact smaller than real number. Uh, that's not always going to be true. It's true in this particular case. Um, but I could end up, uh, uh, you know, end up with a negative difference. Uh, so I want to deal with that as well. I'm going to go back up to the top of my code. I'm going to include the CMath library. All right. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me access to a function called ABS. What ABS is the absolute value. So I'll, I'll add that in. So I want the absolute value of that difference. So if the difference ends up being uh, negative, uh, it'll make it positive. Um, so the positive difference is smaller than the delta. That, that's a little bit more precisely what I need. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll try running that. Again, there's that first attempt that uh, appears to be uh, not correct. Uh, here's the uh, second attempt. Uh, we can see why it's not equal. And then here's my third attempt where I'm doing an approximation. And it, it's actually coming up as true now. So the real number was uh, equal enough to the, uh, uh, to the answer that I defined. So again, when you're dealing with uh, floating point numbers, you have to account sometimes for this slight imprecision. The more uh, mathematics that you're doing, um, you know, can compound the problem. Um, so you need to be careful with that. Um, but here's a little trick uh, to getting around at least uh, part of the problem. Uh, that concludes this video. Thank you very much.